My name is John Broad. I'm the president of Crime Stoppers of Michigan. We are here today to help bring justice to the Charles McLaughlin family. Mr. McLaughlin, also known as Famous, was, was found murdered on Tuesday, July 13, 2010. It was believed he was killed on Sunday, July 11, 2010. He was a father of three and a very well-known barber in the Detroit area. He was only 39 years old. The barber shop was near Normandy in West McNichols, and he cut hair for a lot of very famous people. At approximately 1.35 p.m., Charles was murdered inside of his apartment above the barber shop on the 2500 block of West McNichols near the University of Detroit Mercy in Detroit. If you know anything about this crime, please make an anonymous call to Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Or you can go to your website and make an anonymous tip. The website address is www.1800speakup.org. We guarantee that your information is secret. You will never be asked for your name. Your call will not be recorded. Your call or web tip will not be traced. You will not have to make a statement to the police, and you will not have to appear in court. So far this year, $22,350 has been approved in rewards. More people than ever are standing up for their community and remaining anonymous in the process. If you have information on this crime, please do the right thing and make that call. There is a cash reward up to $5,800 for information that leads to the arrest. You don't have to wait for a conviction that leads to an arrest. And the reward will be paid anonymously. There is an additional $1,000 reward if the information that leads to the arrest is received by midnight tonight. If you know anything about this crime or any other crime, please call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Our first speaker is Ella McLeod. Ella is Charles's brother. Mother, I'm sorry. My name is Ella McLeod. I'm Charles's mother. I don't know too much to say, but I am begging someone out there who might know something to come forward, speak up. This could have been your child, your brother, your son, of anybody. If you know anything, please come forward. There's nothing that anyone can say that can bring my son back to me, but that was my heart. My youngest son called me, you know, we always say that that's our baby, but that's my youngest child. He was a good son, a loving son. If anybody knows something, have heard something, please come forward. Uh, because there's nothing I can do about it. But I know, I talk to the Lord every day. Every day of my life, I talk to God. Because vengeance belongs to Him. It's nothing we can do. Nothing can be brought. He can't be brought back to me. But I know someone knows something. The only thing I can say, this had to be someone that He really, really trusts. So please come forward. This could be your family member, your son, your brother, your father, anybody. Please come forward. I am begging you. This is hard. This has took total on my heart. And I know that it will continually keep on working with me. So like I say, vengeance belongs to the Lord.
next speaker is Lori Cannon. Lori is Charles' sister. wonderful brother. He was very humble and meek. He treated everyone with respect. And if anybody know my know my brother, Charles, the world famous, they knew him and spoke very highly of him. He was just so known and loving and giving and kind. And I'm here today because I'm going to represent him the best way I know how. And I'm gonna stand here proudly. And whoever did this to my brother, I want to say to you, please turn yourself in. I don't understand how you can sleep at night. I pray for you, whoever you are. I pray that you ask the Lord to forgive you for your sin and you repent. I pray for your family because in the midst of it all, yes, they are going to lose a loved one, but not to death. They can always come and visit you, whoever you may be. Whoever out there, if you know anything, please come forward. There is nothing that will bring closure to my heart, but my family and us, we really need that. I, I would like to know what happened to my brother. How this event took place, and I know that may sound weird to others. I don't think in my heart that my brother suffered. I believe whoever was there at that apartment with my brother, you knew, you, you knew, you knew and he knew you. And I'm a little tongue twisted right now, but I pray for you. And I want you to ask the Lord for your forgiveness because whether, I mean, we can't hide from God. And, and, and you want to start getting your life back together. You need to pray, repent, and turn yourself in. And I just thank God for my brother's life and we're gonna let his life live on in his legacy. And if you know anything, please, please, please pick up the phone and call. Thank you. Charles' sister, Valerie Blackshear. Excuse me. And um, my brother was found July the 13th, 2010, in his apartment. But I believe in my heart, my brother left here July 11th. So if anyone knows anything, which Sunday morning is July 11th, we spoke to my brother Saturday morning, late Saturday night, going into Sunday morning. And I believe in my heart that. This crime took place after 2 o'clock a.m. Sunday morning. So Saturday night, if you recall anything going on, um, my brother played cards at this apartment where he lived. And after that, he went to his apartment and he went to sleep or laid on that couch and whoever was there, someone knows something. And I believe that it was July 11th that my brother life was taken away from him. Thank you. I would like to um, thank Crime Stoppers and the proceeds from the party from the fundraiser. He was a loving person. He stuck by me. And we just want to thank everyone for coming out to the world famous Camouflage 40th birthday party. And thank you because all of the proceeds were used for Crime Stoppers. And thank you, Crime Stoppers. 
And each year that we have this event, we hope to see more people out. This is an investment for his children. And also every year we want to give back to Crime Stoppers. We will be giving you a donation every year to help out with other people's families. Thank you. Thank you very much.